what is self hosted integration runtime and how to share that self hosted integration runtime in another data factory hello everyone in this video i am going to give you one of the important information about uh, what is linked self hosted integration runtime or you can say shared self hosted integration runtime so when it comes to azure data factory uh, you can install one integration runtime on one system and uh, if you want to use the same integration runtime in another data factory what we can do we can use self hosted integration runtime in another data factory with the help of linked self hosted integration runtime so let's understand how to create linked self hosted integration runtime and how to configure that and how to use that here i'm having a two data factories in this data factory uh one data factory i'm having existing self hosted integration runtime which i'm going to open a data factory two data factories i'm having so one data factory having already configured self hosted integration runtime which i will show you now uh if you go to integration runtime there uh, currently you can see this the second one is self hosted integration runtime which is available in in this data factory now i want to use the same integration runtime in another data factory in another data factory that data factory i want to use same this integration runtime so what i'll do so if you look at this this is the existing integration runtime which already configured on my windows machine and you can find the name and it is available now i want to use this integration runtime in another data factory because windows only one integration runtime we can configure so go to another data factory so i'll click on new integration runtime once you click on new integration runtime under integration runtime so you will get option azure and self hosted the third one you can see this linked self hosted integration runtime okay which you can share existing self hosted integration runtime in another data factory so select this and you will get a window where we need to provide another integration runtime resource id so let's select this and you will get another screen or you can say you'll get another option click on this then you can see provide any name user defined name any name you can provide so i'm going to give a, a shared self hosted ir then the down we need to provide a resource id so that resource id which is existing self hosted integration runtime resource id so go to another data factory open that integration runtime then go to sharing click on sharing uh, this option called sharing then once you click on sharing you can find that uh, a resource id copy this resource id and paste in uh, here then we need to grant the privileges to access that self hosted integration runtime right so go to that data factory that uh, here you can see this grant permissions so select that and select existing uh, another data factory and uh, click on add now i granted the privileges to access this integration runtime click on apply so now you can find this click on apply then now we granted the privileges as well now we are going to use this integration runtime in another data factory so that resource id click on create now it will be available now it will be available so now you can see the status you can see running status so and you can verify that a subtype also you can verify that subtype also and we are using this resource id and it is shared integration runtime or you can say a linked self hosted integration runtime existing integration runtime we are using here existing integration runtime we are using here and the type also you can verify linked even here you can go and verify type self hosted and the resource id also if you edit a code you can verify that so this way which we can go and create linked self hosted integration runtime that subtype and it's a running status which we are using existing integration runtime here this integration runtime we are using so this way which we can configure linked self hosted integration runtime in n number of data factories same integration runtime you can create and use in n number of data factories the only thing is 
if you have a multiple data factories are using the same integration runtime if multiple jobs are running just check with the uh, on-premises uh, system administrator configuration like cpu ram and other configuration and verify and uh, request a better configuration system so you can avoid uh, resources less resources because if you are running multiple jobs and multiple data factories you see lot of uh, concurrent jobs issues because same time you can't run multiple jobs due to lesser resources so default here you can find a 14 concurrent resources which you based on your configuration which you can increase or decrease so that is possible depends on your on-premises system configuration so this way which we can go and create linked self-hosted integration runtime if you like this video please share this video subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you have a good day